Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to learn about how we can share Power Apps Canvas app with individual team members, Microsoft Interest Security Group, and then external users. So I'm in the Power Apps Studio. Let's say we build our application. Now it's time to share that with our users. But before doing that, we need to save our application and then publish. And to save an application before publishing your app, I would recommend instead of saving this way, come here and click save with version notes and you can add here your notes. So you can come here and say, for example, add the screen for dashboard and click save. If you want to see your notes, uh, let's say, let's publish this version. Okay, now if I come to Power Apps homepage, we can select the app that we want to share, then go to details click versions and this is the version that and here is our notes that we just added so this is very important because in the future if you have any problem with the current version you can come back here and select any version and you can see the notes that what increments you added or what edits you made then click this and restore and restoring this version basically will create a new version on top of version 165 and it will be version 166. But keep in mind that you can only restore app versions that were created in the last six months. Now it's time to share our application. You can share application from here or let's come back to Power Apps homepage select the apps and select the app that you want to share. You have uh, two different options here. You can use share button in the ribbon or simply click ellipsis, click share and then share. A new flyout menu will pop up and from here you can see that there are two people that currently have access to this application. The first one is myself and I'm owner. And the second one is one of my users from my organization. So if I want to add a new person, like individual team members, I can simply come here and type their name or email address and I can select them and add them here. So if you notice, once we have team members selected, we can make them co-owner. So co-owner will have access to use, edit, share application, but they won't be able to delete or change the owner. Also pay attention here, if you leave this checkbox checked, once you click share button, it will send an email to the selected team members about this application and it will be an application URL. Once they click, it will take them to the browser. You can alternatively add information about the application that you built, maybe kind of welcoming message. Another thing you need to pay attention, anytime you share an application, you basically need to have give access to the data using your application. For example, in our case, we had underlying data source, which is a SharePoint list, then we connect it to Office 365 groups, and we have also Dataverse here, so that we need to give access to our users. For Dataverse, you can also specify what security role that you are going to assign to, to the selected team member. You can click this drop down and you can select the role that you think your users need. You can simply click basic user for now, so that they can use the uh, underlying data source. And keep in mind, since this is the premium capability or premium connector, you need to request a license. You can also type everyone. And if you click everyone, that means that everyone in your organization will get access to this application. I can click share now, and this will share the application with Megan. But we can also share the application with Microsoft Entra Security Group. To do that, let's come to Azure portal, portal.azure.com. And from here, I will just simply click groups. These are all the groups I have, and I will create a new group. I'll keep this 
type as a security and group name will be PM application security group or you can just type it SG and then you can add team members for example I can come here I can type uh, Adela for example and I can come even type myself and select and create now if we look at this newly created group you can see that PM application SG that's the security group and I can come back to my application and if I type here PM application security group and you can see that it's here I can simply just select this when I share the application with this group all the members in this group will get access to this group and you can specify what kind of accesses that they need I can just simply click share but how about sharing application with external users again you need to invite them to your Azure Active Directory first. You can come here. Click users. Click new user and select invite external user. And you can specify the email here. Just make sure that it's valid email. And you can alternatively add some te text here and then review and invite and you can click invite now if I come back here and click the name of the person and you can see it's here and I can come back here and if I type Zuka and you can see the guest user is here so let's try to share with the, the app with them and then click share all permission changes were saved successfully let's check our guest user how they receive email they just received two emails the, our guest users the first one showing that we invited them to our Azure Active Directory so if they click accept invitation that will take them to myapplications.microsoft.com kernel they don't see any application to see the application let's come back here and click the another invitation here saying Rafsam Senov has shared the Power Apps project management app with you and I can run this on Microsoft Teams or simply click run the app open that link they will see this message here that means that they need to have a license to use your application so sharing application with external users doesn't mean that the users will get access right away. No, they need to have access to application, like let's say connectors, and they also need to have a proper license. So let's say you share the application, the users will use it, and you need to edit some properties. Unless you share a new version with your users, they will not see it. So that's why every time you make a, any updates, changes, you need to publish it again and your end users will see this message. You are using an old version of this app, refresh to use the latest version. So they will click refresh and that way they will use the new version. So this is how you share application with individuals, external guests, as well as Microsoft Security Group. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips and tricks using Power Apps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.